Buy b e l i e v e Buy original. Be original. S O N. You will remain our partner in progress. Operators of small businesses in Owerri, Imo State, Southeast Nigeria, tells the Standards Organization of Nigeria, as Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, inaugurates Parastatals under his ministry. Plus, sensitization on SON Act in Lagos. Details of these and other stories after this message. Wow, Chief Mike, how are you? Fine. I'm going to Sun office for the certification of my wheat flour. Oh no, things have changed. Sun has simplified all its activities. You could have even stayed back in Kano and process all your papers online. Whoa! With the efforts of Sun, the products of SMEs can now compete globally. Sun has put in place necessary machineries in support of the growth of SMEs. At highly subsidized charges, SMEs can now get their certification, laboratory testing of their products, as well as purchase of standards. Meanwhile, Sun is carrying out massive seizure of substandard goods in the market and have gotten legal backing to prosecute offenders, all to protect consumers and SMEs. Sun improving life through standards. Nice to have you join us on the program Standard and You. My name is Ifoma Okonkwo. Last week, our crew visited Otaogun State, and we brought you a story on how. SMEs in that part of the country are taking advantage of the services of the Standards Organization of Nigeria to grow their businesses. Owerri, Imo State was our next stop. Guess what? Partnership between the SON and SMEs is working and yielding positive results. Please take a look. Mrs. Marvelous Oluchi Emerua is an entrepreneur based in Irete, in Uweri West local government area of Imo State, Southeast Nigeria. This graduate of business management produces paints in this factory. It, it all started after my university in just industrial person. I lined myself into Imo State University where I, I went for government education, still in quest for more knowledge to get to where I'm going to. So at a point I started this painting six years ago when I had to start it ma manually with lean little bone, making experiments to know what it will lead, lead to and what it can generate at the end of the day. I would then make it and then use any bucket I see available, fetch it and give to any house owner and say, please help me test this thing on your wall if it's okay. Let me know I'm okay by it. They will say, how much are they going to buy? That it doesn't have that number, it doesn't have sun. I say, don't buy it. I only want it to be on your house. Let me see how long it can take. If it will fade. If I wanted to know one-on-one -on -one reaction from people. With time, I discovered that it was not really bad, as bad as I thought. Like most entrepreneurs in the country, access to investable funds was a challenge. This, however, did not stop Mrs. Emerua from pursuing her dream. With time, I keep in, uh, improving in my you know, innovations, trying to get one or two things together, improving in, in, in what I do, keep research online, individuals. With determination to succeed, this mother of four children surmounted most of her challenges, but had to contend with the task of ensuring quality products. She described her encounter with the officials of the Standards Organization of Nigeria as one that has changed the face of her business for good. Son actually helped me knew that uh, it was important to just uh, buy goods from importers that had some carbon, things like a freedom. Then, and Son also helped me to know how to use parameters check properly all those goods. And Son at, at a point helped me through in seminars in, in the in stakeholders meeting to educate us on how to grow better than before. Then it was like, you go to the market, you just buy from any individual. But when I met with Son, they now gave me the insight why it sits better. And since then, I no longer have goods that maybe after like uh, six months, eight months, it will just go bad and you need to recycle. Then my measurements, my SOPs, the importance of it and, and, and all that thing. So it has really helped me a lot. She told Standard and You that Sun's intervention has brought significant growth 
to her business. The elated businesswoman whose joy knew no bound commended officials of the SON for being a remarkable and dependable partner in progress, even as she hopes for a brighter future for her business. More grace to ever. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> They have helped me grow better than I was before. <laughs> At Rapido Foods Limited, maker of Phoebe Sausage, it was a story of hard work, determination, faith, and effective synergy between the SON and Rapido Foods. Before we get to really link up with SON, we're having one or two challenges really selling our product because of the SON mark. People who see this mark, believe that before you can get this SON mark, definitely your business will have gone through a lot of checks, gone through a lot of processes before it is certified and say, yes, you are qualified to get the SON mark. So it has value on its own to business. So that's why for me as a person, I believe our association with SON has really rubbed off positively on our business. Officials of the Standards Organization of Nigeria conducts regular inspection of the company's processes and factories. Initially, we thought they were threats. As we go on, we discover there are people to be partnered with. With our son visiting us on a regular basis, unnoticed, we will have the way we are. Every time they come, they will see a fault, correct it, it was like a check and balances on a daily basis. It's even a, a slogan here. Anything you do here, they ask you. You know some people will come. You know some, they will come. They will come. They must come. So it's a good visit. They are not coming to, to hang us. They will ask us to correct something that is not good. And you will think they've, they've gone. Next week, Monday or Tuesday, you see them again to come and verify if what you promised them, you have done it. And once you are done, they, they will go. Apart from providing owners of the business with useful information to grow, they also ensure that the company complies strictly to standards. When they come on regular inspection, they go about inspecting the whole sections in the factory. They go even to the extent of going into the restroom. Even the welfare of the personnel, they care about the welfare of the personnel. So when they go around, they find out maybe one or two that, are need, that needs to be replaced or needs to be installed because of the kind of operation we've gotten into and they recommend. And after they've recommended, they still come back for the next inspection, not forgetting those recommendations. They still come to find out if we have implemented all those recommendations in the factory. I can give an instance, the tiling of the raw material store. We had no tiles in the raw material store. It was only in our mixing room. So we didn't know that it was much needed also in the raw material store. So she advised us to get the tiles to prevent contact between the wall and the raw materials. Because when there's contact, you have moisture going, you have even sand from the walls come in contact with your raw material. With that, you cannot assure the good quality you have been expecting. So we went ahead tiling those raw material stuff. And on the phone, through contact, they still find out if they've if we've done it. And when we do it, we will still inform them and they still come back to inspect if we've done them. Same with these signs we have around the factory. These warning signs, these um, emergency signs, we didn't have them. They advised us to put them so that people, visitors and even freshers, when they come into the factory, even before you get to have any personal talk with them, the signs have supplied the information and it has really been working well for us. With those signs, we've been having less cases of emergencies, injuries and all of that. Such regular visits by the SON owners of the business agreed has reduced the level of non-conformities by the company. This has in no small way repositioned the business and has translated to increased patronage of Phoebe Sausage in Nigeria. What they are doing is rubbing positively on our business. Many people may not understand, many business owners might not understand this. But when you check properly, when you have a quality product, you do less of talking. We do less of marketing because a quality product will always sell itself. Now, if I give you my product and you eat and it's good, you have become one of my staff indirectly because you want to tell people that my pro this product is a good product. You want to take it home. And when your children taste and they know it's a good product, they want to tell their friends. When they get to school, they bring other brand. No, I don't want this brand. Bring Phoebe. So these are some of the things 
you know, the collaboration with SON has brought on our table. State coordinator of the SON Comfort, HABW, says such intervention by the SON is at no cost to the SMEs. She added that it is in line with government's initiative as supporting SMEs. The whole idea, she explained, is to create jobs and wealth for the nation. We partner with them to make sure that they don't see regulatory agencies as people that come to close them down. Because if you don't nurture them, they might close up on you when you tell them you are coming. You come, you go to them, encourage them on what they are doing. How do we encourage them on what they are doing? You know these days, SON is the only agency that implements national uh, quality infrastructure. So we encourage them by telling them that, and again, in that uh, national quality infrastructure, we equally implement a Nigerian Industrial Revolution Plan by partnering with SMEs as in their course for job creation. And by so doing, we now uh, ensure that there is transfer of knowledge, technology, because most of them, they don't know what they're doing. But through standard, we have been able to tell them that there is standard guiding everything they are producing. And we distribute, we encourage them to buy standard. And we, those of them that have no lab, we encourage them to set up a mini lab. Both companies are still benefiting from the support by the SON and have provided job opportunities for over 5,000 people directly and indirectly. So far so good, SON is doing a very good job. Welcome back. The newly inaugurated chairman and members of boards of agencies and prostatals of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment have been urged to use their knowledge and experience to accelerate the achievements of the mandates of the agencies. Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Okechuku Enelama, gave this advice when inaugurated board of agencies and prostatals under his ministry. He urged them to provide sound policy directions and avail themselves with extant rules and guidelines relating to the appointments. The minister wants the board to come up with innovative policies to support the ministry to promote diversification of the economy, attract investment and inclusive growth. You are therefore expected to provide policy guidelines, approve operational targets and ensure efficient management of resources to achieve the set targets of your parastatals and agencies. You are also expected to work closely with the management of the ministry, which includes myself, the Honorable Minister of State, and the Permanent Secretary for overall policy directives and guidance. The Permanent Secretary or his representative as a member of your board is to ensure effective monitoring and evaluation of your policy implementation and progress. Your Chief Executive Officers are charged with the day-to-day -day management of the affairs of the parastatals and agencies in accordance with the objectives and targets set by the boards. The boards are not expected to be involved directly in the day-to-day -day management of the parastatals and agencies. Distinguished chairmen and members of the boards, I urge you to work in harmony with the ministry and management of your various agencies to ensure the goals set for your organizations are achieved. In another development, the new governing council of the Standards Organization of Nigeria SON held its inaugural meeting in Abuja. Chairman of the Standard Council, Dr. Okechuku Enilama, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, Edith Akman, described the SON as a critical government agency. The minister advised council members to rise to the challenge of tackling the menace of substandard goods in Nigeria, adding that Council will be guided in its operations by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Act establishing the SON. The Director General of the SON, Osita Aboluma, 
is optimistic that the caliber of members of council will translate to greater success for the organization. It's still standard and you. Understanding and appreciating the essence of the anti-bribery management systems and good governance standards was the focus of a sensitization held in Lagos. The workshop attracted stakeholders from the various sectors of the economy. Like most countries in Africa, Nigeria has had to contend with corruption, with successive governments involving measures to tackle in this court. The Nigerian Industrial Standards on Anti-Bribery Management Systems NHIS ISO 37001, 2016, and Good Governance Standards NIS 902, 2017 are proactive standardization tools to fight corruption. Both standards are viable tools that can be used to reduce corruption in Nigeria, alongside anti-corruption laws. The objective of this workshop is to examine these standards with a view to adopting the ISO 37001, 2016 standard. Professor Osareme Osumbo is chairman of the committee. It is very difficult now to launder money. In fact, I joke, I tell some friends that the problem with stealing public funds now is not the unavailability. The money may be there. You may see $1 billion, but how do you steal $1 billion now? You will agree with me that it's very difficult. Because if you pay it, the moment you pay it into the bank in Nigeria, worldwide, they know. They know that this kind of money is being transferred. So there's international collaboration, and that is the way to ensure success in the modern world. It is this kind of international collaboration that has been brought into the issue of how to tackle bribery and then how to ensure good governance in all countries of the world. In particular, the 163 countries that are members of the International Standards Organization, including, of course, Nigeria. Stakeholders also met in Abuja to examine the anti-bribery management systems and good governance standards. Participants at the workshop all agree that standard is anchored on accountability, transparency, adding that the adoption of these standards will be in the best interest of organizations and the nation at large. When other foreign organizations, uh, Engineer Felix Yadu mentioned the example of Shell, even within Nigeria, we not deal with any Nigerian entity that doesn't have some of these uh, uh, systems in place. So it will be a necessity for organizations that want to remain competitive to adopt these standards. But beyond the voluntary compliance, we're also advocating that government should make it mandatory. Under Section 15, I think, of the Standards Organization of Nigeria Act, the minister in charge can make these uh, standards mandatory. And if it is mandatory, then it means you must comply with the process and it can be certified or audited. In another development, importers, manufacturers, top business executives and other stakeholders met in Lagos to examine the Sun Act No. 14 of 2015. The event was organized by the Standards Organization of Nigeria to acquit stakeholders of the provisions of the Sun Act that seeks to address issues of distribution of fake and substandard products and promotes the nation's industrial growth. Director General of the SON was represented at the event by Engineer Bid Obai, Director Inspectorate and Compliance. The agency provides a enabling environment for businesses to thrive. The provisions of the SON Act give operators and players ample room to do the right thing, to promote the businesses and industries for the overall benefit of the nation's economy. SON is therefore a business facilitator. Local products must be acceptable and competitive locally and globally. Hence, they must meet global standards and international best practices. That is what the SON Act is meant to ensure. This whole talk about fighting of standard products is also about intelligence. 
in supporting the standard organization of Nigeria as businesses, we also have to invest in information gathering. We have to invest in intelligence gathering. This thing also costs money. That's additional cost for business because of the activities of the unscrupulous operators in the economy. <clears throat> Then there is what I call the revenue effect. Most of the operators in the uh, all this counterfeiting and faking space, most of them are criminal businesses. They are illegal businesses. And illegal businesses, they, have, they don't pay tax. They don't pay levies. They don't pay fees. They are just free riders in the economy. Other people are working, they are taking, just taking benefits of the environment. Muna Pata Shikuruna of the last zoo, what a Namazasi Akarida Aikin Mikiri, Kumazasu Lurachewa Yapich and Chanta, Kaseabuna Kori, the Kaseabuna Araha. Can you make it in Obadania? Can you make it in the Obadania? May you have a book in Obadania called them? Welcome to the world of standard and quality, where we offer you information on product safety and quality. The program is Standard and You. Choose high and leave. Buy original. Be original. S O N. Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigerian SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards aimed at improving the exports of the nation's food and cash crops. This explains why we have developed more standards for Nigeria's produce like sesame, cocoa, curry, and more, courtesy our accredited state-of-the-art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turnaround time for sun cap and man cap to reduce substance standard products and legal arm to prosecute offenders. Join the Standards Organization of Nigeria in raiding our nation of substandard goods due to consistent market surveillance and raids. See something, say something. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving life through standards. Choose life and leave. Buy original. Be original. S-O-N. Safety is a state of being safe. That is, the condition of being protected from harm or other non-desirable outcome. Product safety is one of the things many of us take for granted until it's too late. Have you ever thought about the havoc that a substandard cement can cause? It could result in building collapse, leading to loss of lives and property. What about the fairly used tires on your car, which has been reported to be one of the major causes of road accidents? That substandard electrical cable could lead to a fire outbreak. Even consumables such as food, drink and cosmetic products must be of good quality. Quality and safety go hand in hand. This is why most substandard goods are dangerous and unsafe for use. As an agency saddled with the responsibility of protecting Nigerians from fake and substandard products, the Standards Organization of Nigeria will not relent in its efforts to ensure only quality and safe products are available in our markets. However, we must realize that we all have a role to play to protect our lives and those of our loved ones from fake products. You can become a safety vanguard by insisting on quality. Hello and welcome to the feedback segment of the program. I am Halimot Osifo. Our first messenger is from Tom from Habuja. He says there should be an awareness program for national youth groups in Nigeria as youth, especially the students, can serve as volunteer agents of the SON by reporting cases of substandard products in Nigeria. Thank you so much, Tom, for that suggestion. We'll look into it. Godwin Ajidure says, please, how can one have sun certification on local products in Nigeria? Godwin, for information about product certification, you can visit our website on www.sun.gov.ng. Ayo Nelson says, it's a wonderful and educating program. Thumbs up. Thank you so much, Ayo. We appreciate it. Sani Muhammad from Zaria says, I'm watching the program right now. Thank you, Muhammad. Good to know you're watching. And that's a wrap on the feedback segment of the program. Do you have a question? 
complaints or suggestions, you can call us now or send in your messages to the number 0705-972-4455. Follow us on Facebook at Standard and You, Instagram and Twitter at Standard and You underscore. You can also send a mail to the address, the standard and you at gmail.com. Don't forget we have a vibrant YouTube channel where you can watch any episode so far at youtube.com forward slash standard and you. Don't just view, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be glad you did. Let's do this again, same time, same station next week. Bye for now.